vlog. I'm visiting Stephanie, who just moved here from SF. It is the second day of PSL at Starbucks, or I guess the fall drinks menu, so we are right across the street to grab the first fall coffee of the year. It's like 70 degrees outside right now, but who cares? Um, also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have Invisalign in, and I'm like getting used to all this plastic in my mouth. Apologies, I might be talking a bit funny for the next few vlogs. Overall, I think it is all right so far. I'm a little bit worried about it being super high maintenance, but it is what it is. I think I have it in for like a year and a half, so hopefully it's not too hard. This isn't like a staple in your life. Mine is special, this is a staple in my life. I have to have Invisalign in for 22 hours a day. So if anybody has ever had Invisalign, tell me how you did it. How do you go out to eat and drink coffee and brush your teeth and have two more meals a day and have a snack without exceeding that limit? I'm a bit skeptical, but we'll see how it goes. You guys will be on this journey with me. I'm gonna make some smoothie bowls for breakfast. Okay. About to learn all the wellness tips from Steph because she has like everything. Collagen Boost blue, Organic Luminous Blue Spirulina. These are things that Steph has in her kitchen, like usually. Like not for this movie bowl. And none of these things I usually have in my kitchen. So I'm really excited to learn all of these wellness <laughs> tips and tricks. We're on our way to a vegan restaurant called Panta. I'm actually pretty excited because I don't think I've ever been to a vegan restaurant. Good morning everyone. We are about to head out for the day. Plan for today is to go to Aramon because I have never been. I'm very excited. We just got here. They have complimentary ballet with a fake. 
I'm like a little bit scared. If I could tell you, I don't think you'd believe how long I felt this way. I'm begging you to stay. And if I could Apparently these are really good, so we're gonna try one. Oh my gosh, it's $20.99. I'll let you guys know if it's worth the price. There could be a place for you and me. This grocery market is like a tourist attraction. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, last time I came here, they were like, so where are you from? And I was like, I, I just moved here. Crispy rice with spicy tuna and salmon and avo. Everybody in our line of sight right now is like a girl in their 20s with smoothie. We're like a local. And we're trying the carrot cake now. It's definitely not ready, but it's like the flavor is good. I actually really like this. It exceeded my expectations. It's Becky G. Becky G, yeah. Shout out to Becky G. Waiting for Valley to be dropped off. They have complimentary drinks. Did you get? Matcha latte? Matcha latte. Crazy. I am back in PJs because we are home for a few hours. It is a going out night tonight. Going to one of Stephanie's friend's birthday parties. And so we have the liquid IV jar. Very important. I'm so tired. I've just been editing for the past couple of hours. And then we're about to electrolyte up and then eat dinner and head out. We have a feast of leftovers prepared by Chef Stephanie. <laughs> so this is leftovers from dinner yesterday and then leftovers for lunch today. Chicken noodle soup that Steph had before, some salad with sesame oil and like just like salt and pepper. We also have some leftover passion fruit chestnut cheesecake. I'm gonna eat this afterwards. We are ready. And we're on Stephanie's rooftop to get some pictures. This is so nice. We were too tired to go out to eat this morning, but we ordered Uber Eats from this place called Egg Tuck. And we're gonna eat our cheese seed pudding. day after going out food I've ever tried. <laughs> there happens to be a really, really cool ice cream shop right next door that sells super unique Asian inspired flavors. About to have girls baby night. Steph has a projector set up, which is super cool. And we are gonna watch How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, which neither of us have seen before. I'm editing thumbnails right now. 
It is my last day in LA today. It's Monday morning, but we are just on our way to grab some coffee before the workday starts. You may think that I know too much, but now it's never too much. Because when push comes to shove, girl, just trust I won't get sick of us. You my salty crush. I'm doing something different. Your name's been on my tongue. My cup's been looking for I told you guys how I'm planning on moving to New York. I started applying for apartments, or I started looking for apartments that I like, but it's so hard in New York without being in the city because apartments will, like good ones, will go off the market in a day or two. I just reached out to a realtor for an apartment that I really like. Fingers crossed, but I'm really hoping this one works out. Back from lunch, I am just packing up my things now, about to get ready to go, so I think I am going to end the vlog here. Thanks for letting me stay with you, Stephanie. Of course back home to Seattle for now but never for very long. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend in LA and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye!